Hello to my subscribers, new subscribers, YouTube viewers, and my Twitter followers. What time is it? Ah, boy, YouTube fucked everybody, didn't they? Ha, 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 they sure did. And, uh, Copa, why did you not just sue the fuck out of Google? They needed it. They're the ones that are fucking targeting kids. They want to target kid channels. For advertisements, us, the people that make YouTube, YouTube, uh, make billions of dollars for Google YouTube every freaking year. Um, we're now, we got thrown to the lines of uh, Copa, which, in my eyes, uh, Copa has no teeth. Uh, on getting creators because we're not targeting kids. We are channels that upload to YouTube hoping to get a thousand subs of 4,000 view hours to start making a penny a day on YouTube. Um, from YouTube getting advertisements um, going to our channels. Uh, my channel is a family channel. I had a my old channel. I just deleted it because I got freaked out. I said I can't afford a forty-two thousand fine per video. If uh, Copa seem wants to think my on targeting kids on RV uh, full time RV channel on uh, a full time RVer. I'm at an RV park and I usually sit outside and video. Uh, what's going on at the RV park or just sit around and chat about what's going on about the, my life or what's going on at the park or video and wildlife and I have some chickens that I have and I show people how to feed my chickens and water my chickens and get bossed around by my chickens once in a while when I start having pizza or some kind of good food. They always want to have a snack. Um, so yes, I'm going to have kids watching my channel. I'm going to have adults watching my channel because, uh, people love RVs. They like, they love travel trailers. They're even thinking about buying one or even thinking about going full time going, oh, the kids are moved out. They got this big house and it's a pain in the ass to upkeep the lot of fucking taxes and why not buy a travel trailer or big RV and and travel around while we can since we almost were retired or getting close to retirement and uh, it's a uh, be a fun thing to do i think and tell uh, people like me have channels that kind of give you the pros and cons before you want to do it i i'm a full-time rv i've been doing it for about seven years now I I like it, but boy, I don't recommend it for people that have kids still and figure out oh, sell the house or just buy an RV because we're living in we're renting a house or we're in an apartment and I think we'll be better off in a travel trailer or an RV with our, with us kid everybody the kids and the family together and the dogs and cats <laughs> i'm like oh no that would totally suck for you so i didn't take want to take a chance but i'm like gone i'm being held hostage by google now you have two choices on google's platform you either tag your channel not made for kids or made for kids and when you do the made for kids google doesn't have to pay you they don't monetize those uh, made for kids and you don't get to chat with your viewers um and it's a total pin of butt and i'm definitely not tagged for kids i'm tagged for family if anything Google needs to put a G for everybody. Uh, they should have three settings. Not made for kids, G rated, or kid. Period. You know, if you're 
um, doing kid stuff, but uh, that's kid stuff. And again, I'm on a YouTube adult platform. YouTube has YouTube kids platform. Why are kids on adult platform on YouTube? Um, or even having channels on a YouTube uh, adult platform. Uh, I know, I wish I was a kid again. I'd be on YouTube making some bucks going, I don't need a lot of stat. I'm just going to be in the in the den or in my bedroom uh, doing YouTube videos or outside video and stuff to upload to my video, uh, my channel on YouTube. <laughs> or maybe be a couch potato and give me a PlayStation and video that as we were uh, playing games. So, yeah, I think if anything, uh, the creators now need to have a big class action suit against YouTube and sue the shit out of YouTube for, for just uh, making people lose a lot of money off of YouTube or even like me making me feel like I had to go go ahead and delete my 1180 sub channel and I had over 3,000 videos but we don't have those anymore since I deleted my channel I have some on my hard drive that I saved but still uploading all those videos back is that's a a lot of time and effort and pain in the ass, so I'll just save those for my, my own viewing or whatever. But still, if I feel like it, I'll probably go back in there and dig some stuff out and upload it back. Or just start from new here on my new YouTube channel. So if you are sub, sub me back and I'll get your sub back here. You know me. If you'd been subbed to to me before you know I'll sub you back that's what I do I help out people to help me and I still do the same thing the day you unsub me I still know how to unfind un the unsubber and unsub them back so we both fall down and the goal is to get a thousand subs in two thousand or four thousand view hours and then start getting some Google cash but Google is now showing their true side of what they're trying to do they're trying to freak people out make them delete their channels and then make a new channel and and set their video uploads to kid made content so Google doesn't have to pay but they still make billions of dollars off of that person's uh, content <clears throat> now because uh, they're not getting paid for it uh, so yeah it's uh, pretty shitty Google I think we uh, found your your little douchebag ways I always knew Google was a douchebag company and I've been saying that on my old channel for three weeks and proving it they've been removing subs withholding subs removing views I still got those videos for proofs of Google wants to douche with me, we'll douche with them and I'll be a fucking wealthy man. I ain't gonna settle with a class action. Class action suits usually the attorneys make billions and the people that got hurt only get pennies like Google's gonna fucking try to, well that's what Google does when you get your thousand subs and your four thousand views you only get a penny a day maybe two if you're lucky until you start getting more views you get paid by views not by subs um but unfortunately you need a thousand subs and then you need at least four thousand views and then you start making pennies and then more people come to your channel and view your stuff and then you start making a little bit more money as things go by so when you're an uploader on YouTube, we are looking for subs. We're looking for views. Uh, we're not looking for kid uh, crap. We, we're not trying to advertise the kids. We're 
we're showing things. So what? You fucking have a toy and you open it up saying, hey, I got a new remote control car. Um, that's not directed for kids. I like remote control cars. I have one. I have a real nice uh, old Radio Shack uh, race car. It's outdoor race car. It goes pretty fast. It's electric and I like to put my GoPro on it and drive around, cruise around with my GoPro with my remote control car and, and uh, chase cats or whatever I might say. You go, oh, let's go chase that animal. Maybe a rabbit or something. Um, or just goof around, just drive it around, freak out my chickens, my chickens hate it. I'm like, what's the, what the hell is that thing? But, the very worst I do is I do have a bad tendency of cussing once in a while, especially when things get pissy, when things piss me off. But with, uh, with, uh, Coba, they're looking for people who are making money off a kid. Uh, they want to get information off of kids to uh, get direct things for kids, I guess. It's like YouTube, trying to get ad-based ads for kids channels. By saying, oh, this is a kid's channel. Maybe this toy company would like to spend big bucks on my advertisement to uh, have me put it on their channel. I have no control. I don't put ads on people's uh, channels want to upload or all I want is subs and uh, I want views and uh, it's what any YouTube uh, person that uploads YouTube wants if you don't believe me go to everybody's channel the first thing you'll hear is hi welcome to my channel if you like my channel please hit the red subscribe button and you'll see a bell. Click on that and boom. That'll notify you that I did another upload. Thank you. Um, and then, you know, Google saying, Oh, Koba, go kill all of our um, people upload to, you to YouTube because I have no control over what people put on YouTube. And again, that's a bullshit lie. That is a fucking Google YouTube fucking lie. I have community guidelines I gotta abide by. I have to comply not to upload copyright strikes or copyrighted material like copyrighted movies, songs, anything that anybody copyrighted, I can't upload to YouTube. I could do it, but if I do any of those two things, if I have uh, committed some guidelines, uh, community guideline thing that I got to obey, they'll give me a strike if I upload copyright material on my channel, I get a strike. I could prove it to you right now. Everybody has a Everybody has a channel. We check our channel status every day if you're smart. If you want to keep your channel. But they're right there, people in Coba. Don't let Google fuck you. And they're fucking the, the people that make Google tons and billions of dollars a year for uploading our content to YouTube. And we only get pennies a day until we get huge again. Uh, when we start getting a billion subs or something, then we start making some some bank money. But at my point now, since I'm starting all over, I was stupid. I deleted my channel. I fell for the Copa bullshit. Uh, I was like, oh, what a fucking idiot I am. But oh well. I know how to get subs. I'm going to do the same thing I did before, and there's nothing wrong with what I did before. So I'll get my 1,180 subs pretty quick, I'm pretty sure. And I'm going to keep on getting bigger and bigger, and I don't care. And I'm not afraid of Copa. They want to give me a $42,000 fine for content they think it's earmarked for kids. 
I don't advertise on YouTube. I'm not looking for kids to come to my channel. Um, YouTube is kind of uh, blackmailing me, saying, Hey, go book a fine you $42,000. I'm like, bullshit, because I'm not advertising or not looking for advertisement or I'm not looking for, I'm not selling anything or anything for kids. I'm actually talking about RV park adventures here. I am living full time in an RV park. I never know what's going to happen at this RV park. It's normally kind of calm and quiet. That's why I like it over here. Uh, but it is RV park. We get new people come in with their RVs every other day. And I meet some neat people. I don't like to put them on my YouTube channel, but I'm pretty much by myself on my YouTube channel because you know you start adding people to your channel people then like oh you got a YouTube channel and you put me on there and bah you didn't want they won't be on YouTube um so you get yourself in the hot water there but other than that that's pretty much uh, scanning the scenery around me I like this RV park because uh I have wildlife, I have wild deer come in and out, I have wild turkeys that come in and out, I got possum, skunks, uh, turtles, mud turtles, I got anything and everything that could probably come in. I got RV dogs walking around, pissing me off, leaving big crap bombs on my yard, and I'm like, hey, pick up your dog crap. Um, I can't blame the dog, the dog's doing what it's doing, but the owner should be uh, picking up the crap, which I tell them to do. Um, yeah, they got their own space for their dog to go take a crap in. Right next to their rig. Don't bring it over here. I don't need it. But, you know, um, here's the the website for um, t tfc.gov is the website. I'd recommend you watch it. I did watch a tourney video, it was pretty awesome, that's on YouTube, I can't remember the name. Um, but he was also saying, hey, you know, YouTube uh, really can't, you know, they're really holding people, you know, hostage here. They're, they're hoping people go to Made for Kid, click on the Made for Kid content. So Google doesn't have to pay, and you lose the ability to chat with your viewers. Um, you lose a lot of things. You don't get paid for that content, and Google makes money off of it because people go check your stuff out anyway. Um, so you're screwing yourself pretty bad. Um, and like I said, you... There should be a G-rated section. You should have not made for kids, G-rated or for everybody, or made for kids, period. If it's made for kids, I can understand that. Um, if you want to make things for kids, like cartoons and things like that, uh, but there are some kind of cartoons adults like, like Family Guy or... Um, you got, uh, I don't know, a bunch of other adult-based cartoons out there. Uh, the Texas one, forget the, forget what that one is, but it has those three guys in the family. Um, but there's adult-based cartoons out there, or family-based. But I'm just thinking for now, Family Guy and... I can't remember the Texas one because <laughs> I don't haven't seen it for a while. I don't have cable TV. I just have internet. Um, but still, I think it's pretty silly. Uh, if if the con, you know, like I said, YouTube is lying. They they have full control of what you put on YouTube. They flag your shit. He, everybody has a, a video upload thing, and I've been guilty. Sometimes I videoed when I went to Lowe's or Sam's or 
Walmart or something, walking around videoing my, while I'm shopping. And either Walmart or Lowe's might have some background music. And all of a sudden, I'll upload the video and I'll see right in here. Your content has copyright material on it. That's the background music. So it's like, oh shit. Or anytime you play background music, you'll get a YouTube notice saying this is copyright material. If you keep it, you're going to get a strike. So what I do, I just click on it and delete it, and I don't get strikes. So, yeah, they, YouTube has full knowledge what's on their YouTube channel because I have community guidelines strikes. I have copyright strikes, and if I do three of those, I get my channel deleted. I lose everything, my subs, content, and everything. And now Google wants to wash their hands and keep people tied, their hands behind their back. You either, you either change your videos to child made or suffer the consequences of a $42,000 fine per video that COPPA deems to be child uh, directed. And there's so many channels on YouTube, not child-directed, family-directed like mine, like arts and crafts, gamer channels, people that play video games, shoot them up, kill them up, you know, videos, and they have a good time laughing and saying, I blew that bastard up. <laughs> But uh, that's kind of a kid's shit, but adults like the shit, too. I have a PSP. I use mine when I'm talking a dump. I like to play Grand Theft Auto and just massacre people. Run over cops, you know, steal cop cars, swap cars. Run over bikers, run over hookers or whatever. Just fucking, that's my way to get out of stress is fucking be a, a nutcase but do that in real life I don't fucking know it's a fucking game <laughs> I know the difference but maybe a freaking little kid shouldn't be playing that shit because maybe they'll think that's normal oh yeah that's I do that every day when I'm taking a dump <laughs> but no it's not normal it's good uh, road rage relieving if you live in a big city and you're fucking doing Dealing with fucking idiots have to drive down the road when they see a traffic accident it's going the wrong way, but they gotta stop and look and stop traffic and get your ass rear-ended, and you're like, oh, let me get airborne, kick that motherfucker's ass for stopping, get keep on driving, fucker, it's none of your business. They're looking for blood and guts, uh, but yeah, that would that always pissed me off in Dallas. You'd be on I-35. Heading into Dallas and some dickhead fucking wreck going away from Dallas and everybody would have to stop and watch. And I'm like, what the fuck, people? I'm getting late for work. Get your ass a driving, bastard. Then all of a sudden some dickhead would fucking rear end you. It's like, oh, motherfucker. Ah, people. <laughs> yeah, I do get road rage. Road rage! But no, I fucked up. I shouldn't have deleted my 1,180 sub channel. I, I, I admit it, I shouldn't have. I got scared. I was like, I, and I still can't afford a $42,000 fucking fine. If Copo thinks my channel's directed for kids, I'm like, well, yes, my channel's directed for families. Families have kids. Um, who doesn't like watching deer, some, someone videoed a deer video or something, or a turkey video, or talking about RVs, telling people how to do RV and, and not have a fucking disaster when they finally get an RV and they go on their first road trip and just total it out because they didn't know what they were doing, they thought it would be a just a bowl of cherries and having a great time. 
hell no. You get on the road, that's when your adventure starts. And when you finally get to your destination, that's where everything's awesome. Then you have an awesome thing to sit in, get out of the cold. You're able to take a shower. You're able to cook food inside. You don't smell like a fucking fire. Uh, outdoor fire, you get, you don't get smoky, you don't get stinky. You got an awesome bed to sleep in, you don't got bugs crawling all over your ass, and you're not in a flimsy ass tent when the fucking wind comes and blows your shit over, or when it rains and it starts dripping water on your ass. You're like, son of a bitch, it sucks. <laughs> but the, there are drawbacks about RVing. You get the like I said, you can't go far away, you know, taking your RV on dirt roads. You're taking a good chance. Some dirt roads don't have good places to turn around. You're like, oh, shit, how long do I got to go before we might be able to turn around? Or am I going to lose my rig because I can't fucking turn it around and I'll have to come back with a chainsaw and some a backhoe or something or a front loader to dig me a path out of this place uh, good luck <clears throat> but that's why I like having travel trailers at least you could probably pull off the side of the road or something and unhitch your travel trailer and hopefully you got a tongue lock on it so nobody could pull up and hook it up and Take it down the road somewhere. <laughs> so I swear I left my travel trailer here somewhere. It's, uh, somebody took it. But at least you can take your truck and scout out where you want to go. Or at, be, at best, uh, uh, sit back and plan your trips. Say, okay, we'll uh, Google map things and see how things look and say oh that looks like a good place for a travel trailer do some boondocking but again you can only go so far with a travel trailer unless you got a smaller one you get your little pop-up travel trailer or something those are easy to maneuver um they're not as nice as a regular trailer still kind of like a tent slash trailer and the showers are kind of primitive in those. It's kind of get your floor all wet. But it's still just a little step higher than a tent. Pain in the butt, I think. I wouldn't want to pop up. But they got those little tear, 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 uh, teardrop uh, travel trailers. They're, they're again small. You don't have. Uh, you can't stand up in those, and that's pain in the ass, but they're easy to haul around for, you know, part-time weekend getaways, I guess, would be okay, but you're dragging in a lot of dirt and shit, pain in the ass to clean, because, again, you're not able to stand in those little trailers, but, oh, well, we'll discuss RV shit, but right now, it's all about the tfc.gov page in Copa. Uh, like I said, uh, the attorney that has was on YouTube that I was watching, and he was doing things on the Copa thing, and YouTube saying YouTube needs to have a G rating because uh, Copa has uh, kind of has a little part saying. Uh, if your channel is set up as for family G-rated stuff, you're not affected by COPA's rules. Saying, you know, yeah, kid, kids and family are going to come see your channel. It's just, uh, we understand that you're not really directing yourself at kids. And you shouldn't have to be penalized by YouTube, by or forced by YouTube to change your channel to kids uh, made for kids instead of no, it's not made for kids when when you do your uploads. So, highly recommend you go to ftc.gov 
gov. You look that up on Google search. Douchebag Google search is a search engine or you could look at the link at Microsoft's page. If you want to go back to Microsoft and douche Google. Say fuck Google. They look at everything I do on Google anyway, so they want to know what everybody's doing. But these are some of the rules that TC will consider determining whether your content content is child directed, subject matter, visual content, use of animated characters or child oriented activities, and incentives. I have no incentives other than. Kids telling their parents, buy a travel trailer, we, we hate tents. The kind of music or other audio content. And again, YouTube won't let you upload music unless it's YouTube approved music. And that's only like four minute bits of bullshit, crazy ass, weird music. Uh, just do, 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 do. And I could do that in the background, make my own music. Um, the age of models. I don't have any kids on my channel. Once in a while, you know, I might go to my family's uh, house and I have nieces and relatives that have kids that might float in and, out, in and out of my channel or in front of my camera. And I don't, never really posted a bunch of those videos. I don't like to include family onto my channel. But on to my YouTube channel. Um, other than I go to my mom's lake house once in a while, I'll take care of her animals when my mom and her boyfriend are on a road trip, doing a uh, RV road trip of their own because they have travel trailer. They like to travel. Language or characteristics of the site. Um, whether advertising that promotes or appeals uh, appears on the side is dedicated to children and um, compliant and reliable and, and practical evidence about the age of the audience well as a YouTube channel I get people of all ages that are sub to me. I don't get a lot of females due to my cussing and due to I'm not that great looking probably. <laughs> but I hardly ever show myself on YouTube. It's usually panning and talking and talking and panning and uh, stuff like that. But I wasn't making YouTube for love connection. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, compliant in the YouTube case. Mm, but if you don't believe me, feel free to look at the FTCs.gov. Uh, I'll leave the, the uh, link on my video here, probably in the title. Um, but I don't really think COPA has a legal grounds to consider anybody's channel kid-oriented unless it's actually kid-oriented, saying, you know, if it's a bunch of little kids running around, uh, I don't think too many adults go watch those videos unless they're kind of giving the channel support, then that's how I do my YouTube channel. When somebody leaves a comment on my channel, I go to their channel and leave a comment back. And if that's doing something wrong, uh, supporting people that support you by, you know, saying, oh, you leave a comment on mine, and I go to your channel and leave a comment back. And my comments are usually just a emoji guy with sunglasses and a thumbs up on the comment. I don't say nothing more, don't need to say anything more. Uh, or I might say, nice video, keep up the good work. Looking forward to your next upload. If that's something wrong with that, you're just a fucking retard or majorly a douchebag. 
fun of that too. I don't care. Um, but other than that, fuck off. Um, but like I said, I shouldn't have deleted my channel. Like I said, I had 1,180 subs and I was getting more subs daily. But I knew Google was holding and withholding subs and removing subs and removing views on that channel too. And that was pissing me off. And I was always telling Google for the last three weeks, you fucking uh, delete my channel. Please delete my channel for getting subs. I will sue Google so hard. And I've been saying that for three weeks on my old channel, which I don't have anymore. But I'll say it now. Please uh, fucking delete my channel for getting subs, Google. Please do that. The day you do that is the day I sue you for four billion. I won't be like Copa. I ain't gonna settle. I'll get four billion. I'll get attorneys. I'll get a law firm that wants Google's butt for dinner and say, "Come on, son, we're gonna have some Google ass for dinner today. We're gonna blow a hole so big in YouTube's ass slash Google owners' ass." That four billion dollars will drop like fucking a hellstorm, and I'll be okay, and I'll be happy to let the attorneys take two billion, and I'll be happy to take two billion. Then the government will be happy because they'll take at least a half of what I got, and I'll be still happy with a billion dollar lawsuit. Uh, so, anyway, you want to play at Google? I am here to get subs. To get views, I am not here to get kids information, I have no need for that crap and I don't want it, don't need it, don't care about it, like I said, my channel's family oriented, you need to have a G rated peg when you upload, you need to say not made for kids, G rated or made for kids and then you're playing the game straight. But for right now, you're holding people hostage, scaring the shit out of people, saying, Cope is going to sue me. I got maybe, I have, I had 3,000 uh, something videos, and now they're saying that for each video that um, Copa wants to claim is kid oriented, and I didn't go switching back to not, or made for kids, so I'm going to get a 42 thousand dollar um fine for each video i didn't go back and mark made for kids i'm like i'm not made for kids uh, copa has their own opinion uh i don't have kids bouncing in the background i don't dress up in a clown suit i don't fucking do nothing i have bad language um but I do on RV channel. I do have some chickens that I feed and show what chickens eat and feed and know about chickens. Sometimes I have a garden. I do gardening when I feel like it. I haven't done a garden for a couple of years. I was like, ah, get too many bugs and it's getting too hot. And I'll just let my dirt sit back and get grass and weeds in it and get more nutrients back into the soil and then we'll start a garden so we'll do another garden this spring and uh, get some good veggies to eat my chickens will love me again they go oh yes we love veggies we love uh, cantaloupes we, we love watermelon better start growing some mister but yeah feel free to look at this uh, ftc.gov site you can look it up, it's free, it's there. Um, but in my eyes, Copa's blowing up a lot of smoke up creators' channels because we're not here for looking for kids. Um, there might be some channels that are looking for kids that are totally kid based, and that's where they kind of got screwed by YouTube and saying, you know, you need to go kid based with it. And that's good. Uh, but still, kid base, you know, we're, we're on an adult 
platform. YouTube has a kid platform. Why are kids on an adult platform? Um, we're, we're uploaders. We want subs. We want views. We're not doing porn. We got community guidelines to go by. We can't do porn. We're not doing anything other than maybe subject matter that kids and families like. So, who knows? But, yeah, it's going to be a little challenging. I can't say all channels are not kid-based, but I'm saying my channel's not kid-based, and I don't feel like I need to be um, blackmailed into saying I need to change my channel channel to kid base or suffer the consequences of $42,000 fine from COPA where Google needs to have a general rating on their uploads saying um, I'm not made for kids or G rated or made for kids and then that's playing right Google uh, unfortunately Google this is what YouTube is it's a chance for people to share their life experiences on YouTube. Uh, we deal with a lot of crap. We got people that come to our channels that think it's fun to make us feel bad or try to make us feel bad. Sometimes it works. Some people will delete their comments or they won't. They'll disable their comments. So one or two little douchebags out there don't hurt their feelings anymore. Which fucks their channel because just because one or two little douchebags out there want to fucking try to hurt you and you fell for their little bullshit fun, um, hurts your channel because not everybody's saying that to you. If you have a bunch of people saying that to you, you flag their channels. I just delete their comments and they go away. It's not a big deal. Um, but really, the smart channels let the douchebags do their thing, and you just laugh because that's a view, and you're like, okay, keep it up. I'm going to the bank, spend money on ice cream or whatever, on a good dinner, or a good vacation or something. So, yeah, go ahead and hate on me. I don't give a, give a damn. So, be a little cyber bully. Who cares? You're fucking douchebag. You're probably a little pinhead douche who gets beat up at school or wherever you're at. Or an adult being a dickhead. And you're sooner or later, somebody will clean your clock. Who cares? Alright, well thanks for watching. That's just my thoughts about COPA. I like they have no teeth to go after creators uh, for trying to get advertisement for their channel because we don't put advertisements on our channel. That's Google. Google's the one that wants to put advertisements on our channel because they get paid for the people that they're saying, hey, this is our RV channel. Let's go to the RV dealerships and maybe they'll want to place ads on this channel and boom. They get big bucks, and I get a whole penny a day. <laughs> and right now, since I douched myself, I deleted my old channel. I'm down to about nine subs, but I'll get more subs as I start doing my thing. All right, well, thanks for watching, everybody. Good luck, but please, I, I would just look at this and say, bullshit, bullshit. Google doesn't want to pay, and I've been saying that on my old channel for weeks, saying yes. Google just doesn't want to pay for people that are making them billions of dollars. They want to keep it all to themselves. And Koopa, you shouldn't have fucking saddled. You should have said, let's fucking rip their ass. Google knew exactly what they are doing. They were going to channels that Google was thinking that were child base. Saying, Mattel, we got all these awesome channels that are kid-based. You need to let us sell you some advertisement for big dollars to put them on these channels, uh, uploads, and 
we'll make billions and give these little bastards pennies and everybody's happy. And then Copa came in and said, oh, that's against the law, and you should have known it, and kick Google and the coolies, but then kick them hard enough, they can actually kick them in the bum hole, and Google probably liked it, because 170000 or a million dollar fine to Google is like a sneeze. That they probably do that on vacation. Uh, let's go to Bahamas. Let's go around the world for fucking three months or something. Have a hell of a good time. Got billions of dollars. Got $400 billion. What the hell kind of lifestyle would that bring you? Unbelievable uh, lifestyle. Nothing that anybody else will achieve unless you're awesome, lucky, or you married into it. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. It's Wednesday. Bye-bye. November 27th, almost turkey time.